This episode brought to you by Hello Pillow. Head on over to hellopillow.com slash robe, get fast, free delivery, make us look good, and get the world's best pillow. We're not joking. What would be your first decree if you were the king? Oh, you better run, son. <laughs> wait, 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 wait to am, kill me? I am how handing... Much, how much latent hatred do you have I after am all these years? The Dora Milaje a list? And they're like, sir, this just says Brian Brushwood over and over. Oh, uh, there's Pat Sajak. Brian Brushwood, Brian Brushwood, Brian Brushwood. <laughs> I regret asking that question. Very thorough. All right, man, we got articles over at modernrogue.com, which by the way, just got that domain, not the modern. You can go to the modern rogue or you can go to modernrogue.com. That's right. The one we're talking about today are five ordinary people who found themselves rulers by sheer chance. Yeah, this is pretty much the phone rings and it's like, ring, ring, hello. Yes, you are the king now, okay. That actually <laughs> literally happened to some we'll, of these. We'll get to that and we'll rank our favorites by the stories. Here we go. So where do we start? King Peggy of Otwab, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I mean, first of all, I'm assuming King Peggy is spelled P-E-G-I, like- Peggy uh, 60. Uh, exactly. <laughs> like, that's exactly what I was thinking of. I assume he's 17 feet tall and shoots lightning out of his uh, fingers. No, uh, King Peggy, P-E-G-G-Y, uh, a woman, uh, in uh, an administrative assistant in Washington, D.C., who is also a king, not a queen, because apparently Otwab is like, well, hang on, we can have a woman as king, but no queens. Okay, how do we get here? So so we have somebody who works and lives in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and just handles, answers phone calls, returns emails and yeah. faxes and stuff, also happens to be king, complete with all the resplendent regalia that comes with it. She was an administrative assistant, and she was from Otuam, which is a fishing tribe in Ghana. And uh, she hadn't been there in like 25 years, but her family still lived there, like her mom, I believe. She gets a phone call one night and says, hey, uh, you're king? <laughs> That's so, so amazing. Yeah. Well, and, and I can understand how that would happen is that basically, uh, you know, obviously some monarch uh, passes away and then it's, you look at the lineage and then it's like, well, what? You, all of a sudden the pool of contenders gets very, very small. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like, well, who do we know that we think is the most successful of these? Who do we all want to be king? They're like an American. And <laughs> right. What, what, like some, somebody who like, like, man, she's killing it. She's off in yeah. Washington DC doing badass stuff. Let's make her king. I like to think that Peggy's laying there in bed and she's like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Turns on the light. It's 3 a.m. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, but cool. Apparently she's killing it. The school system has been upgraded. They got better access to water. In fact, they just had their first ambulance. I like to think that at her other job, that's where it gets really interesting, where it's like, I'm sorry, boss. What did you say to me? <laughs> All I want to believe is that she's playing some board game and gets the opportunities to say, Come at the king, you best not miss. <laughs> <laughs> I would use that all the time. All right, so by default, number one so far. She's good. Next up, we got Jean-Baptiste Bernadette, the anti-monarchist who became king. Yeah. This yeah, dude's like a big shot that. in Napoleon's army and uh, Sweden, uh, unfortunately, their king died. And all of a sudden you got Napoleon's military just sort of hovering around like, you know, I mean, I'm not saying we're gonna invade you. And you got Russia looking over going, that's a nice country you got there. And Be got a shame Norway if something saying, happened to it. And you got Norway saying, we like fish for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the point is they needed somebody. This is a dude who hated monarchy so much he had tattooed, I imagine across his chest in gothic lettering, oh, yeah. death to the king. Looks like De Niro in Cape Fear. Yeah. <laughs> Sweden ends up proposing, hey Napoleon, uh, we want this guy. And Napoleon's just like, WTF? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, <laughs> he's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't even wanna be, yeah, sure, it's fine. Yeah. Dude ends up being king, and not only a king, a successful king, to the point that his bloodline is still ruling today. Yeah, and uh, guess what? Went head to head with Napoleon. Oops, <laughs> who saw that coming? <laughs> yeah, Napoleon's like, what? <laughs> I let him have that <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Ranking. I mean, uh, I think he sounds like a jackass. I, That's I, just what I think. I mean, I was in the whole death to the monarchy thing. Cool. 
I like that. And then he becomes what he hated. He stared into the Nietzschean abyss and the abyss stared back into him. Power corrupts, more cliches about power. I've never been faster convinced of anything than just now. I agree. He's number two so far. Yeah. <laughs> Peggy all the way, man. It's gotta be Peggy. Peggy could whip this guy's ass. <laughs> With a phone call. I don't know much about Roman emperors. I can never keep them all straight. Uh, how many, I, I, I can name Caesar. Uh, Julius Caesar, mm -hmm. I can name uh, uh, Nero, mm -hmm. uh, and I can name uh, 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 Caligula. Uh, uh, mainly because of the 1970s porno. <laughs> <laughs> There's another that you should become very familiar with. Yes. We, we should look him up right now. Wait, what? His name is uh, Caracalla. But he was such a jerk, he was killed by his own men while urinating on the side of the road. And uh, just take a look at this guy. I mean, it looks, it, it's familiar. It's uh, Russell Crowe. Oh no, sorry, it's you, okay. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How long have you been sitting on this? Yeah, you know, so uh, I'm a Highlander, Brian. Uh, no, so uh, <laughs> what, what this means is uh, you better not pee on the road. <laughs> you stick to the bathrooms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> so we're talking about the son of Caligula, is that right? Uh, the uncle of Caligula. Okay. Caligula was ruling and uh, his uncle, uh, Claudius, uh, was a dumbass, apparently. Yeah, hanging around, like doing yeah. all the drugs, having sex with all the women. No, and... apparently he was like drooling and like limping, like he, he, he didn't seem to be ruler material. Well, and, and that's why they picked him to be emperor is because the re they wanted to make Rome more of a republic and the Senate wanted more power. Yeah. Uh, whoopsie doodle, the moment they choose him, turns out to be a competent leader. They went in, took out Caligula and like all of the family with the exception of the guy that was just kind of hiding behind the curtain, the idiot. Was They're he like, peeing on the side of the road? Yeah, they probably thought, oh, we can manipulate this guy, yeah. Claudius, and let's 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 make him emperor. And so they did, and the first thing he did, or one of the first things he did was kill all of those guys that came for him. Ooh, boy. He's like, hey, so you're not doing that again. You're all dead. But yeah, they put him in charge, and as you said, turned into a competent ruler, until, uh-oh, he became Caligula II, the revenge of Caligula? Yeah, and guess who he was replaced with? Yeah? Nero. <laughs> <laughs> so it just keeps getting worse. All right, this dude's bottom of the list, right? I mean, I don't know though, because he uh, he's, he's somebody that everybody thought could be manipulated, but then his story ends with him becoming everything he hated. Boy, I think kings are douchebags. I kind of like the idea that Claudius was never an idiot. He just pretended to be one so that everybody would just take care of him and like, oh, he's he's simple. Let's bring him food and everything, not give him any responsibilities. Well, Meanwhile, he's like, <laughs> I've got it made. <laughs> I want to get a pen and write down a list and start, all of a sudden I show up, you know, like, I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. It's the idiot husband uh, yeah. act where it's like, if I screw everything up, my wife won't ask me to do anything. Yeah, if I break enough dishes, I don't have to do them anymore. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so where do we put him in our lineup? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, so, first of all, Peggy, Peggy. Peggy. All hail Peggy. Peggy. All yep. hail King Peggy. Yep. Uh, I, uh, I kind of, uh, I kind of like, I, I like him better than John Baptiste. But John Baptiste, there is something to the idea that the best king is somebody who doesn't want to be king. And, and, and this dude was picked as a fool, not on principle, and then ruled competently, both Jean-Baptiste and this guy ruled competently, uh, although this guy descended into chaos. No, 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 this dude's at the bottom of my list. Jean-Baptiste is, is still second in mind. I'm gonna put Claudius as second, uh, because I, I just, I really love the idea that he was just pretending to be an idiot, and then it's like, I got your ass! <laughs> Talking about getting manipulated, we've got Abdalonymus, who was a royal gardener, and basically Alexander the Great 
conquered uh, the city-state of, of Cetus. Uh, I think I'm Cetus. pronouncing it. Sidon. Sidon? Something like that. Sidon. S-I-D-O-N, whatever yeah. that is. Uh, why did I say Cetus? It's I don't know. Uh, Cylon. <laughs> Cylon. <laughs> he was a Cylon. He was a Cylon. That's all canon. Uh, so basically, he just, you know, picks something like, hey, you, you're a king. Yeah. And he's like, I need somebody totally loyal. And he's like, I tend the vegetables. And guess what? He was loyal his entire life. Yeah. End of story. Ended up becoming buddies and going lion hunting with Alexander the Great. So last place, boo. Yeah, no matter what I read next, this dude is the worst. There's no artifice there. It seems like he was a Obedient decent guy. Dog. Yeah, he was just a puppet. So boring. All right, so apparently Ghana is the land of opportunity. Yeah. You never know when you're going to get a phone call or a fax. <laughs> That's, That's my just... favorite part of this story. Hey, is that you're you king. <laughs> get him a fax that says, hey, you're the king now. Uh, this is an auto mechanic who lives in Germany. And basically, he was he was in the royal family, but you know moved to Germany in, I think, what, 1970, I believe. In Ghana, there is a strong bias against left-handed people, uh, whether you might call it superstition or whatever. But basically, uh, uh, everybody, they looked at the list and you're like, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out. Who's left? This guy. What does he do? He's an auto mechanic in Germany. How do we get a hold of him? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Send a fax. And, and he's like, cool. Continues his job as an auto yep. mechanic in yeah. Germany. He was an effective king, built schools, wells, with his own money, uh, donates water pumps. Uh, he was a real mensch. All right, here's the real part. He doesn't drink alcohol, but he sells his own brand of beer. Okay, look, King Peggy, I love you. You're the best. Oh my God, but I, I think I got to give it to this guy. I mean, the they're humility. neck and neck. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, can we do a tie? We've never done a tie They're before. They're real close. They're real close. We haven't done a tie. I, I would be amenable to a tie. Can All we, right. Can we right. agree to We're a tie? We're declaring it a tie. A tie. King Peggy, King Bonsa, you're our subjects of affection. See? Smooth. No? Just, we, we, we can like, workshop I, that. I, I, we I can just, workshop I, that. I, 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 hope good. I hope they did everything good. I hope I didn't just give like a political endorsement <laughs> to something terrible. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it says here at the end, Bonsa was a cannibal. Nope, so, nope, nope, uh, nope, nope, yeah. it's not true. It not doesn't true. say that. <laughs> Oh, hello, feels. I They're put happening. My face on it. No, 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 no. This is the box. This is the box. This is not the pillow. Oh. <laughs> look. At it. It's usually in a pillowcase, so I don't. I don't really know what they Everybody look like. who has been watching us knows how much we genuinely love Hello Pillows. What do you love about your Hello Pillow? Hello Pillows are not filled with feathers. They are not filled with some petroleum-based foam. They are filled with buckwheat husks. You say that, but it feels to me like they're filled with joy I and know. sweet dreams. Warning, PSA, everybody pay attention. If you get a hollow pillow, never, ever, ever loan it to anyone under any circumstances True. because guess what you're just gonna have to buy them another hollow pillow you know how when you're in the middle of the night and you're like oh my face is hot so you flip it over the cold side and then about an hour later you flip it over this one doesn't get that it's a pillow that breathes i don't have to sit there and do all this and that and all this we like i'm making a pizza okay, look 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 if you're as dumb as me then you sleep with earbuds in and then you're like oh my earbuds oh they're pushing on my ears i don't like this Hello pillow, karate chop, face. Boom. Sleep. Karate chop, mm -hmm. dreams. Karate chop, bl bliss. Karate chop, bliss. Karate chop, bliss. Go to hellopillow.com slash rogue. You get 60 nights. And if you don't like it, you can send it back. Fast, free shipping, and 1% goes to the Nature Conservancy. If you order more Ooh. than one, every pillow after that, you get $20 off. If there's one thing better than the perfect night's sleep, it's the perfect night's sleep with knowing that you're doing good for the environment. Exactly. There's nothing not to love about the Hello Pillow. I'm, gonna, I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. No, no. Uh, well, I mean, there you go. Make bliss. Yeah, make 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 room. Make room. Oh, that's good. There you good. go. Cool. Who gets this one? Is this for Corey? No. Disagree. What's up, rogues? It's cold, wet, rainy. It's Friday, Black Friday, and I know we said we're not doing a Black Friday event, and we're not. Instead, what we're doing is we just lowered everything in the store like last week. And we've sold out of 23 things over at scamstuff.com, gear for the modern rogue. So you guys seem to dig it. And you better jump in if you want to knock out holiday shopping. Also, this is this is my new pup. This is joyful. Hey, what's up, girl? 
Yo, what's up? What's up? Offer and link in the description below. Brian, you have been declared king. What is your first decree? This is how crazy dumb libertarian I am, is I say, monarchies are dumb. I abdicate the throne to declare a republic. And then I ascend to heaven, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't understand what libertarianism is. Because it sounds a lot like Scientology, maybe. I don't know. Is there a volcano involved?